Hey folks! Hey there, sorry for the delay. Um, it's been a bit busy as you can imagine. Pom Pom, come here! I've got Pom Pom and Beatrix in here. Um, so Pom Pom is, uh, she's, so she's, um, Pom Pom's first litter, she showed very few signs of labor as we kind of led up to it. And they were very, very subtle. And even when we looked back, we could, we were able to pinpoint certain things that we had missed. Um, and so that's kind of how we're watching her now with that in mind. Um, and so she's, um, she's very restless. She's, um, she's up and down off the bed. She doesn't know where she wants to be. Um, and a lot of times that'll happen, um, and like the, how we can kind of tell like the pregnancy restlessness is, um, sorry, I'm not I'm kind of like launching into an update here. I know people are eager, um, but the pregnancy restlessness is usually pretty, um, obvious because what happens is they'll be sleeping and they'll just be out cold. And what happens is, is they'll have a contraction. And that'll wake them up. And usually, you know, they're sleeping on their stomachs. And so they have this giant egg underneath them that hardens up and it's very uncomfortable. And so um, it wakes them up and they stand up and try to kind of like figure out how to how to get rid of that feeling um, until they realize that they can't. And so then they try to lay down somewhere else. And then they realize that oh, this isn't something that can I can just reposition and so then they'll kind of walk around and until the contraction ends and then they'll lay down and get comfortable until the next one comes and so um that's usually like the rest sort of restlessness that we look for not just like general antsiness but um it's the contractions usually that are the contractions and the desire to nest that cause the restlessness and so we kind of look to see if she has like any sort of intent behind it or um, if there's a reason for her being so restless. But, um, so we're just kind of monitoring her. We are watching for contractions. Um, you want to get in there, Beatrix? We, uh, contractions early on are kind of difficult to spot. Um, that's why it stinks that we don't, we don't have any, like, we don't have any of the human monitors. Um, because like early on the contractions are much lighter. Um, and so they're difficult for us to see. Later on, once she's delivered a few puppies, we can see them much more clearly because as her belly tightens, it just kind of wraps around the puppies that are in there. Um, but early on these sort of like preparatory contractions aren't as obvious. The ones that aren't pushing out puppies. Kids, stop. Both of you. She's a good girl. Are you exploring the Beatrix? Just in the pool. She loves her pool. We have the heating pad on at a two, um, just to keep it like uh, just like a nice, um, like having a pre-warmed seat on a bleacher. Like when you go to sit on bleachers and the seat is pre-warmed and you're kind of grossed out <laughs> thinking about it. Um, except she has a nicely pre-warmed pre -warm toilet seat. No, like a bleacher seat. <laughs> oh, I prefer the toilet seat. <laughs> yeah, the toilet seat's kind of <laughs> a little, little too grody. Oh, um, oh so you are such a part in the mess. Our room is a huge mess. We haven't been able to keep up with much outside of <laughs> outside, of one. Oh, outside yes, the dogs. Sweetheart. I know. I love you too, baby. See, she prefers Drew. She uh, really prefers him over me. Hi, Beatrix. Hi. Daisy's in here too, somewhere. Oh, Daisy's not here. Oh, you put her out? I didn't put her out. I brought her in. I didn't her, I sent her in. Oh, maybe she didn't come in. Yeah. You uh -oh. kept Daddy up a lot last night. Oh. I think she just wanted your company. I know. I know she wanted my company. She could have just laid down next to me. <laughs> she needed your active company. Oh, uh, she needed my. Of, uh, Your active attention. 
Um, some labors are really, really quick. Some are long oh, and drawn God. out. <laughs> um, like Daisy, um, I sent a link earlier in the chat. Amber had said that um, her sister hadn't seen a live puppy delivery before. And so we do have um, one delivery where it really, it went really well. And Fast. the puppies, it was just like one right after another and everybody was healthy. Um, and then the last puppy we didn't even know was delivered and the viewers had to let tell us that the puppy was delivered. <laughs> um, so it was, it's a pretty good stream, um, but I linked it up in the chat. Um, I don't know if it's still there, but um, let me see what it's called. Um, just in case anybody is um, excited, but um, impatient and if you wanted to see a good delivery. Um, I time stamped the pu the deliveries of the puppies, um, not just the deliveries, but kind of like what's going on. Like um, you could, puppy number one is crowding. Um, you know, puppy number two. Um, you know, or puppy number really. two is is visible, or, or you know, like I have the time stamp so you can kind of pick where in the delivery you want to skip to, um, and even like um, the just after the. Not the, the gross parts, but like the the uh, wet parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the moist. Did you find a treasure? Oh no, you didn't. I thought you did. Beatrix, the little Houdini, uh, you little escape artist out of the, the pens and blockades. I'm um, sorry that our quiet got so many worried. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, no news is usually good news. Um, in this case. Um, or in our case, usually. Uh, oh, Beatrix. <laughs> she's so sweet. Oh, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna find this. I started a playlist called yeah. Welping and Labor I Videos. Made I made. Bella. Thank Bella. You. Bella. The video is called Cavalier Gives Birth to Six Puppies in Two Hours. The video itself is eight hours and 41 minutes long, but that's because we started it like, you know, before she, before the puppy was crowning. And that's why we didn't want to start Tom's labor or whelping video too early. But um, she's got such a kind of slow early labor that we're just going to kind of have her on labor watch until we start seeing puppies coming. Um, but so it's time stamped, um, in, I think the first, let me go into the description. Um, so if you just go into the description, the beginning of the first puppy is at one hour and 25 minutes. And then there's a whole bunch of timestamps thereafter. It kind of gives like a description of what's going on. Beatrix. Beatrix. Hey. I was disappointed we didn't um, Come we didn't stream Daisy's delivery of these guys because it was another really smooth delivery. <laughs> they just popped out like 10, 15 minutes after another. Come on. Hey, sweetie. The so pom pom is like very stoic, and I think that's why she doesn't have a whole lot of like labor. Um, or delivery signs and symptoms because she really just kind of hides her. Um, she's just kind of always needy and always wants affection. And um, she doesn't make it outwardly obvious that um, anything's going on. Oh, what's up? What's up, Beatrix? Beatrix, I you must be home. Oh, we're using the same heating pad. <laughs> hey, the, the Beatrix, what are you doing over there? Yeah, yeah. Beatrix, Beatrix, good girl. Come here, Beatrix. It's hard to see the chat from yeah. over here. So I'm gonna open it up on my phone. Beatrix, come here. Oh, that's a good girl. Who's a good girl, Beatrix? Oh, oh yeah, I know. You're a good girl too, honey. Yes. Excuse our messy, messy room. 
I see it's like a solo cup in the <laughs> solo cup. It's, it's, it's been a long favorite. night. It's one of my favorite. Oh, Beatrice is your favorite. Yeah. I thought Vienna was your favorite. I like both of them. Oh. And they're like mm. they Yeah. I'm trying to get away from all the junk. <laughs> Two <laughs> more junk. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's one of these. Be gentle, yeah. Bella. Yeah. yeah, Bella, you gotta be gentle with her, okay? Thank you. Okay. Live stream. Look at this face. Look at this bomb bomb face. There it is. Look at. Well, let, let her down, baby. Let her, let her get down and walk around and explore. Look at this. Look at, look at her eye. Last scratch. Oh, we can do it. He took his game some water. He took his game some water. Good girl, Beatrice. Aw, Sue. Beatrice. Sue, got a, did you, is this a new injury or is this like an injury that you aggravated moving furniture? Oh no, Sue. Hi there, Terry. Good morning. Aww. Terry and Oliver. Ter Bella, hey. Bella, you're getting a little loud. Yeah, Remember, you... we gotta be quiet. Pom -pom. Hey, okay. Awesome. And good morning, Amber. I know I said good morning to you earlier, but just, mm -hmm. you know, a verbal good morning. And me show you too. Good morning, Diana. Different Diana. Different Diana? This is the Diana that calls you Princess Bella. And now she calls you Queen Bella because you said that you're queen. <laughs> what was that? What did she say earlier that like had us on the floor? Oh, jeez. What was it earlier in the kitchen? Someone said, you are a queen, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> Did you read that? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? There was something she said. There's... And we were like, what? Uh, or no, we were in here. I think that she was like, she was like giving like commands, like a queen. Like, that's what, for some reason. Oh, what... me a leak and you know what she say? Oh, I wish I could yeah. remember. Anyway. I remember saying something like, I wish this, I, I wish I, this is the time I wish I was recording. Yeah. I remember saying that. Hi, Beatrix. Well, nobody can see you all the way down here. And I'm sure your mom is going to want to see you. you oh, I need to click her that hurts. Oh, yeah. um, mom, can I have Beatrix? No. And Beatrix no, is no, 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 no. Because <laughs> I have you. Ha, ha, ha. Bella, Pom Pom, you need to be quiet and sweet. Yeah. Pom -pom. Yeah, okay, uh, sweetie pie. Her puppies can hear you. Well, I guess right now. But they can, they can feel the anxiety. They, they can feel the energy. That's the energy. Is. Bella, you listen to mommy. Listen to mommy. With puppies and pom pom can all feel your energy. And if your energy is wild, it's going to make pom pom nervous, okay? I love you. I know. Can I have you too? Not yet. Please, please. Oh, good morning, Jennifer. Jennifer? Yeah. Adkins, kids, good morning, <laughs> you guys. Well, good afternoon to them. Good, good evening. evening. Good, good evening, evening yeah. to you guys. Yeah. I'm so sorry that they, things are moving they, so slowly they, for they, you. You guys have the patience of saints. Yeah, thank you, guys. You for, kids yeah. are so incredibly patient yeah. to even get this. You guys are super excited about Pom Pom and her puppies, and we're super excited to show them to you. So please, please stick with us. We're Pom Pom's puppies will come when when they're ready. Yep, and they are. Um, they're all very active. That's something that yeah. we always watch for once we know that um, you know labor is kind of underway. Uh, we watch for them, their activity, and. Uh, one of the things that I learned when I was pregnant with our children is uh, one of the things that I learned is that um, if I haven't felt the baby move, I can kind of poke on them and then they'll respond to me. And that was actually how I figured out that something was wrong with May. And we ended up having a C-section with May and she was in a lot of danger. So um, it's a good test. Um, 
And so uh, if we haven't felt them, you know, in a minute, or if we can't, you know, feel them move just on their own, we'll poke at them and they'll paw back at us. It's, it's yeah. really sweet. That's how you save Mayday. Yep. And that is how we, oh. the doctor said that um, it happened oh, on a Sunday at come about on. noon or so. Yeah. And the doctor said that if I'd waited to call the office until Monday morning, then she would not have been alive anymore. Um, basically, the court had been strapped around her neck four times, um, but it was around her body because she was so little. She was only, um, she was 35 weeks along. And so the cord wrapping four times, he said it was kind of like a snake strangling its prey. And so... Um, it came and I had, she hadn't moved in a while and I had like looking back when I called the doctor looking back, I'd realized like over those previous weeks, her movement had been slowing down and wasn't as strong. And so he did a bedside ultrasound uh, and she failed the test that they did. She, they look for like respirations and she wasn't because um, the baby will, will respirate the amniotic fluid. Um, it's like practice breathing. Um, and she wasn't doing that at the rate she should have been. She wasn't flexed. She was just like hanging the lamp. Um, she wasn't moving. Um, the only thing she got points for on that test was having good fluid levels. So she didn't get any points for like her own self. Um, but when, so he, before we went into the C-section, he said that it was either a severe problem with her heart or it was an umbilical cord issue. And so when he pulled her out, he told me more quickly that it was an umbilical cord. Um, and he unwrapped her. Um, but it took her a while to start breathing. And so they had to intubate her. And she was in the NICU for a little bit. Um, but she came out of the I think she's only in the NICU for like 12 hours. And then she, um, she was able to come back to my room. Um, so that was a really scary uh, scary experience especially because when I was like 25 weeks uh like so like 10 weeks prior to that I had um gotten kind of scared you know first pregnancy first time mom I had gotten real scared and called the doctor about something um you know and went in like in the middle of the night and called him in and had an ultrasound and everything was fine and so I felt terrible and so then when this happened on a Sunday afternoon I like kept thinking like this is nothing. I'm going to feel awful calling them in on a Sunday, especially after when I did um, the the um, nothing burger I called about at uh, 25 weeks. And um, but when I went to my follow up appointment, my doctor had made a big deal about um, you know she would rather. Uh, he called in over nothing 10 times than to miss the one time that um, to miss the one time that it was a real emergency. And so I had that holding back in the back of my head when I called the doctor on the day that May was born that she would rather come in 10 times. And so I was like, OK, well, this is only the second time. <laughs> um, that was my reasoning. And I um, I also had a stethoscope, a Littman stethoscope. Um, if you're a medical person, you know that those are like the better stethoscopes. Um, and I was able to pick up her heartbeat with that, and it was much slower than it should have been. Um, and so that was the other thing that that got me concerned. Um, but um, so, I mean, if that, if the doctor had made such a big deal about how she'd rather be inconvenienced, I don't know if I would, because I thought about just waiting, no, it was Sunday at noon. And so, you know, oh, more than halfway through the weekend, um, I was thinking I could just wait till morning, till office hours, instead of calling them in on a Sunday over potentially nothing. So that was kind of the debate I had in my head, but I'm glad I went, um, because, uh, it probably saved her life. Waiting probably would have been terrible. You're a good girl, Beatrice. Yes, you are. Oh, I was gonna open the live stream. I was gonna open the live chat. I started saying good morning to all of you and then I got distracted. Oh, Sherry, good morning. 
Sorry. Aw, so that's such a sweet, sweet little note. That's good advice, Jennifer. It, it is hard to decide if you should go or not. Aw, your daughter's there with you, Sue. That's so wonderful. Wait. Sue so, has her daughter there, and she's meeting Audrey. The Wait, the daughter from Barcelona, or the... I guess it can't be the one from Spain. Wait. Could be. She said she and Audrey have been inseparable. Aw. And Beth says, I woke up in the night to Drew's voice shutting off the stream and not realizing I left it on. <laughs> Funny me. <laughs> Hey, that's okay, because then if his voice had said, puppies are coming, you would have woken up and seen puppies. But good morning, Beth. I don't know if I said good morning to you. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, my gosh. It's summertime. Been busy. Good morning, love pugs. I'm not sure if I said good morning to you either. Lala, good morning to you, or good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. <laughs> just. Let's just make it that. Good afternoon to everybody. Good day. Good, good day. day. There you good go. day to you. Huh. Pom Pom is sleeping. Oh, you guys can't see her. I can do it. I'm just looking at her back, though. Oh, yeah. What the heck? <laughs> Hold on, people. Sorry. Everybody's <laughs> going for a ride yeah. through. Enjoy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Pom Pom. How are you, baby? I'm tired. You could just set it up right here. I can do that? Yep, I have before. Yeah, use that to clip it around the. Oh, uh, I see. I don't know if I do it with the tail there. Balancing it. I need the tripod. Oh, I see. You are balancing it. <laughs> Want to focus on this goofy towel. Oh wait. JS, you did not miss delivery. We're on a slow and steady um, whelping watch. She's kind of just like an early labor um, contractions on and off. We're just keeping a close eye on her, making sure puppies are, are moving. Where those little such a good girl, Pommy. Hey there, Eminem. 
Hey, Stu. I know your name is Joanne, by the way. I just always, it's just Stu it is. <laughs> Hey there, John. Um, um, yeah, we actually, so we have photos of, um, we take photos of each of the puppies when they're, I mean, we're taking photos kind of all throughout, but yeah, they do. Um, it's not so much that their blazes and markings change significantly. It's that um, they usually, so on um, a tricolor, especially, their blade is going to narrow a whole lot. Um, and on a blenum, it's also going to narrow, just not not to the same degree as tricolor. You may notice a lot of tricolors have either very narrow blazes or no blazes at all, kind of like Paris. Um, and it's because that black really, um, the black color, it, it tends to kind of bleed into the white as they, as they grow. Um, but like when Palm and Paris were born, their blazes were bigger and they had um, more white around their thumbprints. Like pom poms nearly, I think it goes, it's almost completely, her thumbprint almost completely bleeds into the other side. But when she was born, she had like a white, um, you could almost see around the side too. And so that's kind of how it changes. It's just that the white um, minimizes. But Drew and I, we were, we were talking about kind of what you mentioned um, since you brought it up. We had been talking about um, taking photos of the puppies when they're born, um, like, like very specific profile photos that we can compare to put like in an album so that we can show families kind of how different markings will change, will change yeah, between birth and eight weeks. That was a suggestion of, of one of our viewers, I think. Yeah. It was a really good one. That was one of our families, actually. Pom Pom, she is two and a half. She's almost three, actually. What do you think? It's 7.30 up by you guys. Oh, my. Chris and... Yeah, the Adkins. She is a pretty little mama. And she would, she is such an amazing mom. It just astounds me. I think she really prefers the the quiet of her, her puppies just, um, like, uh, loving on her nonstop over, like, the big dogs that want to play rough. And so she really enjoys being in the puppy pen with her puppies, even if they're six, seven weeks old and playing kind of rough, it's still a lot um, calmer than the chaos of our dog pack. <laughs> and so I think that's why she, partly why she likes to stay with her puppies. Pom Pom is very much an introvert. Yeah, she's a good introvert dog. She is very much an introvert. I have Beatrix right here. <laughs> Beatrix is an extrovert. And Beatrix is an extrovert. <laughs> Always escaping. We have the heating pad running across here. We just have it on a two so that um, out just out to give it like a warm little pre warm. Yeah. yeah. Now, it's not every mom that we would bring a puppy in with Pom Pom's personality and just her, her overall temperament. Um, we know that it's, you can see puppies moving. Um, we know that she's, she's okay to have Beatrix in. She actually enjoys the company. Um, and here she usually seems happier when there's someone else in here with her, another dog. Um, in fact, her first labor. She always had, when we were getting her adjusted to this, she always had mm. Paris in here. Yeah, she did. Um, but, um, you know, there's some, 
there's the belief that, you know, a, a mom picks a spot where she's going to have her puppies, and that is the only spot she will have her puppies, like, full stop, doesn't matter where you put her, she will relocate them, and we find that to be completely untrue. Um, <clears throat> she might find a spot she likes better, but all we have to do is pick her up and bring her over here, and she'll be like, okay, <laughs> she'll start popping them out. Here's my pups. I'm going to have my pups right here. And now she's upset that Beatrice is eating her food. <laughs> Oh, I don't think she's upset. I think she'd rather share. Yeah. I'm not a very good sharer. Look at that tummy. Look at that belly. Beatrix is not staying with us. She is going to go home. I think she's got nine, she's got eight days. Eight days. Yeah. Um, in eight days, we're going to drive her to her mom. Um, her mom lives like on the other, she lives way on, on the West Coast. And so um, she's going to be like closer to us on a, like a trip. And so we're going to kind of meet her. Um, there. So, like, she'll still have a trip home, but she won't be coming to our house. That's kind of what I'm getting at. Yeah. Um, but we're really excited to finally give her to her mom. I'm glad she's not growing a whole lot yeah. <laughs> in this time because yeah. I want her to do her growing with her mom. She's going to still be very, very cute. For... She is precious. <laughs> right in front of the camera. <laughs> Did you switch the microphone too? Yes. <laughs> oh man. I bet that was loud. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I bet that was loud for everybody. Oh man, look at how clear the photo is though. We can count her fur. I know. Make sure it doesn't start focusing on her and then become blurry on everything else. Oh, I'll scoot that way. Sorry, oh. Sorry sweetie. Here. There, now you guys can get a better feel for how big her belly really is. It was been really hard to capture. It's really come down. Yeah, it has. Like just in 24 hours. I was gonna say, like, I thought that um like she was dragging her belly on the ground by the end end of her first pregnancy, but maybe that was that was another dog. I think that might have that been. was Robin. Robin, yeah, that was Robin. You're right. And like she had puppies. so much milk. Oh, that's right. Yeah, she was milk producer extraordinaire. Jennifer, yeah, I was just thinking that. It does look a lot lower than yesterday. I was thinking, um, because that we usually notice that before they deliver, and I've always theorized that it's the puppies lining up. It's yeah. like they're Line they're, getting, they're getting in line, and so. Things are a little disorganized from the usual. I end up getting ready in the horns on her uterus. Yeah, so for anybody who is unfamiliar, <clears throat> um, her uterus has two horns, and the puppies are lined up um, kind of like every other. They When they come out, there's going to be one that comes out from one horn, and then the next one will come out from the other horn. And then after that one, the next one will come out from the opposing horn, and then, you know, and so on and so on. It's like uh, shuffling a deck of cards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so we can tell kind of which puppies were next to each other based on the order that they come out. Um, and usually those are the puppies that kind of become BFFs during the eight weeks. We'll, yeah. we'll look back at when we start seeing two puppies have a lot of fun together. We'll look back at um, the, the, the weight, order. the weight yeah. um, chart because, you know, we did their weights in the order that they were born. And um, we'll usually see that they were um, next to each other in the womb. So it's just, an interesting little it's kind of like twins you know if twins have a really close bond yeah. being next to each other in the room we're kind of we just have wondered if it's a similar sort of thing similar phenomenon oh man oh i'm sorry i'm like mm -hmm. yeah i'm just sleepy from the little miss pom-pom so at uh 2.30 last night, she had gotten down at some point. So I believe she went to use the, the potty in the bathroom. I'd left that door open in there. I'm going to move our holiday so, cheer. Oh. Into the, <laughs> the, the magic box? Yeah, I'm going to move our holiday cheer. 
so we're a little oh. less festive. Here, I'll go put it in the, I can put it in the Christmas. The Christmas uh, we love Christmas holiday. here. Well, actually, that's not a lie. I really love Christmas. You love Christmas. <laughs> I love Christmas. If you could marry Christmas, you would. I would have married Christmas if I could have. <laughs> um, you should be Santa Claus. I should be Santa Claus? Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, hey. <laughs> Is it I'm trying to be like you. <laughs> so last night, two thirty, um, she had hopped down at some point. I don't know exactly when. I was asleep, but uh, I wake up and it's her over here on the side of the bed, and she's got her front paws, uh, like she's she's up. She's perched up. Yeah, like trying seat. to reach me, and she's going. <laughs> like whining at me. And I, to go potty? I wake up. No, she went up on the bed. <laughs> she, uh, couldn't, she couldn't get up on the bed. Oh, you know what? I should have been the stairs. Yeah, I need those stairs. I need those stairs. You guys are having your your yeah, your camp outs with mommy. What are you doing, Beatrix? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's <laughs> not do that. Just that would unplug and be bad. Like, okay, um Yeah, uh, yeah, you guys doing your your camping with Beatrix? Don't with, go far. I don't want her to potty. Oh, ooh, yeah. Oh, okay, well, let me take the. Come here, you. Look at the gray. You're a good girl, Palm. Hi, hi, I'm moving this thing so that cord is not there to get unplugged. All the, the supplies, oops. All of this, so all, all this stuff up here, besides uh, Elizabeth's coffee mug, you've got, uh, we've got the scale, and then we've got some, oops, some bulb syringes, yeah. Some bulb syringes for sucking out their noses afterwards. And then uh, over here are their collars. Like all, everything on this table over here is for the. Uh... Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Show them that. That's always cool. <clears throat> this is for, um, this is for preemie babies. But so for any puppies that are struggling to breathe, we um, can use this on them. This is perfect size for going right over their face and hitting yeah. their nose and their mouth so that we can do nice little breaths. Um, but then we have to be real careful with, because even this is still for newborn babies that are, human babies. you know, could be two and a half pounds as light as that is for human baby. Our puppies are only, you know, five ounces. And so we have to do teeny tiny little itty bitty soft breaths, or we could really damage their lungs by overinflating them. Yes. And so we um, just need to be very careful with it, um, but it is very useful. Um, it's um, just like those big ones that you see on, yesterday I referenced ER, but um, Grey's Anatomy is a better reference <laughs> these days. Um, we also have this, luckily we haven't needed to use it yet, but this guy is Especially for um, if the puppies come out and um, still have a lot of fluid in their lungs, fluid, mucus, that sort of thing, um, we can kind of dip this into the back of their throats, into their lungs a little bit, and we can suction some of that amniotic fluid out. Um, and then after we pull this out, <clears throat> then we would use the Ambu bag to help get those, some breaths in, help inflate their lungs and um, get them breathing. We didn't have this stuff until after we had our, our little Billy born um, and we resuscitated her with <clears throat> chest compressions and blowing by blowing this in her face, um, by blowing this in her face, we were hoping to that whenever she would gasp, 
she would get a little bit of extra oxygen um, with it instead of just, you know, what she was able to take in on her own. Um, but it worked. It um, She came out uh, lifeless, and we were able to you were bring able. that little girl back to life. You were able to, because you're the one who never gave up. Well, so that was, that was, it's a really tough call in those situations, because... I couldn't tell if I stopped my efforts, if she was just going to um, slow down and pass away, or if she was going to continue improving. And so I didn't know like when I should uh, stop. And so I just kept giving, kept uh, puffing, puffing this in her face until her gasps became like, start, when she first started gasping, it was probably like once every 30 seconds. Like a little tiny gasp. Um, and then over about 45 minutes, I think. Yeah. Because we gave her an hour to show like improvements. We had decided early on um, we need to set some parameters before we just start like doing everything to save her because we didn't, you know, we didn't know what was going on if if she was, if there was something really big. Oh, come here. Ah! If there was something real big going on, you know, under under that we couldn't see. Um, There's a deeper underlying issue. Yeah, and so uh, we kind of gave, we gave her an hour. We said, you know, we need, we'll, we'll reassess her in an hour. And if we see a lot of improvement, then, um, then we'll continue. Then we would continue um, working with her or working on her. And at that 45 minute mark, she had showed she was gasping a lot more, and at the hour mark, her gasps became long, became became deeper. And Drew had walked out. He it was very emotional. Um, it was very taxing. It was very taxing delivery, and he had had to step out. <clears throat> and when he came back in, um, he almost couldn't believe that she was. I think we were like just about. We were kind of stopping our. Um, efforts and she was just kind of going yeah going on her own by then and um, color had returned like she had, yeah she she pinked up quite a bit and that was another thing was about halfway through probably like the thirty minute mark when we were like you know how long do we just breathe for her um, uh, where was I going with that her oh her color started coming back and um. When we saw her color come back, that's when we knew that like things were circulating. Her heart was pumping things through, yeah. So, and she's a healthy, happy, wonderful girl. She's um, year and a half old now. Yeah, year and a half. Yeah. Shoot, will they almost be two two here pretty soon? Because I remember didn't we get birthday oh, stuff yeah. from them? No. Bob, I'll just bring this over here. <laughs> There's the Christmas box. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, yeah, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our bedroom. <laughs> yeah, you are messy. You're a good girl. And actually, let's... Okay. Let me check you out here. Yesterday, she, <clears throat> um, people have like a, a plug. Um, I'm trying to get you to lay down in a comfortable way. Um, and she passed that, um, like in one piece. Um, Trying to help you lay down in a comfortable way. Bye. There you go, good girl. You're such a good girl, Tommy. You're such a good girl, sweetie. 
Gotta turn off some of that fur. Well, hello, Beatrix. <laughs> Beatrix is having a wonderful time in here. She's had a blast. Hey, Bella, look what I found. She's got more goo coming out. More goo from her nethers. Mm -hmm. Like the rest of the mucus plug? Why? Yeah, hey, it's look like you're. Hey, little snipper. Come on. I'm gonna go. I don't know. Good girl, sweetie pie. Better view of Dapami. Hey there, Lily. She's not quite there yet. You're such a good girl, Bob. Yeah. Oh, you want more belly rub. It's real funny. There's a lot like people in the sense that um, when they're laboring, they either want to be touched or they don't want to be touched. It's like <clears throat> very black and white, one or the other, no in between. Um, Missy does not like to be touched. Daisy really likes to be snuggled. Um, oh, pom pom. Um, I feel like the first letter she didn't really want to be touched. Yes. Um, Paris did not want to be touched, which that one really surprised me. Hair bear was, yeah, she was. She did not want to be touched. She was like, don't touch me. I don't, I don't know what's happening to me. I don't like it though. Good girl. <laughs> Your scratches sold everything for her. They if, if solve scratch, world hunger. Yeah, if you scratch your ears, the world is right. Oh, Bella Chanel. All is right in the world when Tom is getting an ear scratch. I love her little pink patch on her nose right here. <laughs> I know, it's so stupid. Isn't that cute. the cutest thing? Yeah. That's also considered a mismarking on Cavaliers and is something that would disqualify her from an AKC show. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with how we how we get our moms and dads, that's um, because our priorities are um, health and disposition, temperament. Um, we, we get our dogs from um, breeders who usually are active in like the show ring with confirmation shows. And the reason for that is because um, their puppies are going to have generations of healthy, um, healthy parents behind them. And so, um, you know, so we go to those breeders and we, um, you know, introduce ourselves and um, explain the kinds of puppies we raise. And so um, it's usually works out really well because they can usually identify puppies pretty quickly that, um, that they won't be able to enter into a show, won't be able to train as a show dog um, because of mismarkings. Um, and so they can usually tell us right off the bat um, a few puppies that they would be selling as pets. Um, and then, you know, when they're like four weeks old, then there's usually a couple more that they've determined, um, you know, based on the way they've developed, they can usually tell. Uh, but um, this, this is not something that they would have been able to tell that young, but it would have been something that would have later on um, because they're not supposed to have any pink left on their noses. Right, sweetie pie? It's technically a mismarking. Even though it's cute as a button. I know. Um, 
Her priorities are health and temperament. But um, when I say that um, the appearance comes third, um, you know, the breeders, they can, they'll say, you know, this one isn't one that, you know, is cute by the show standards. A lot of the mismarkings we think are cuter than the show standard, like Daisy's freckles, I think are absolutely adorable. Vienna's freckles are absolutely adorable, but those are all mismarkings that would disqualify them. And so, um, even though their appearance, you know, comes third in our, our priority list, um, some of the things that they would be um, sold to us for as, you know, not, not really as pet, you know, as um, they would be selling them, you know, not as show dogs. Um, oftentimes make them cuter than they would have been just as a traditional, traditionally marked dog. And so one of the cool things, what's nice about, um, some of our puppies is that we will have puppies that have some of the cutest mismarkings. Um, we had a puppy in Missy's second litter who had a split face. Uh, it was a Blenheim split face. And uh, so he had one side white and one side chestnut. And it was so cute. I've only ever seen split faces on border collies. Um, they're actually pretty common on border collies. And so um, it's, not, it's not as adorable on Border Collies as it was seeing it on a little Cavalier. So I've never seen a split face on a Cavalier before. Oh, these puppies are moving. They are moving. They're roiling inside. They are ready to come out. They're like, let us out. We want to play, Mama. We can't roll over by her. It's okay, sweetie. Let's see. I can see her puppies move. They're moving right here. No, you gotta hold still. You hold still. Here, little guy. I see you. You're not kicking big enough, though. Little, little guy, kicking. Oh, let's just one wave up here. Sorry. <laughs> that was a big like, Somebody did like a twist. You'll see like little flutters that like there'll be one here and one over here at the very same time. That's usually when there's one in there that's kind of moving. And so you're not really seeing like that right there, that, that wave. Um, you're not seeing like a kick necessarily. You're seeing them turn. When you see those ripples. Bella, please do not do that. Please don't swing that. Bella Rose. Oh. Bella, Bella, no more swinging that. Okay, Pom. <laughs> You're so sweet. Oh. Oh, there it is. She's leaking booby milk too. Oh, seriously? No, I'm just mentioning the yesterday. Oh, thing. oh. Let's see. I'm probably gonna have to touch up. You are such a good girl, sweetie pie. Hi. 
Okay. Bella, no more. I'll do that again, please. Bella, stop swinging that. Okay, pom pom. She's like, wait, where did dad go? <laughs> Camp out in the safe spot. You're such a good girl, Pommy. These blankets are courtesy of Michelle and Vicky. They're baby blankets. Or I should say they're puppy blankets. They're puppy blankets from Michelle and Vicky. They sent them to us when um, um I think it was like right after we found out Daisy was expecting when we were yeah. intending to skip that cycle. Um, and she sent them for Daisy's newborn puppies. And um, it was such a sweet gesture that we kind of, they're, and they're the perfect size for nesting because um, um, I'll show you this. So the problem we usually run into with nesting is that she wants to like, you know, rip up the blankets that are, we're, putting her whole pool together with. And so we can give her these and then she can, um, you know, kick it up and it comes up like she wants it to. And, you know, it goes back down and she can, you know, move it around. Cause that's all she wants to do. She just wants to move it around a little bit. Um, whereas the big blankets, she just kind of ends up making sort of a, a knot of, of towels and blankets. And it doesn't, it doesn't come up like she wants it to. And, um, you know, it's just kind of, not satisfying for her. And so these little ones are perfect for nesting. Um, so that's why I pulled these out and they're newborn puppy blankets. So, uh -huh. so I thought that they were perfect for the occasion. Yeah. So uh, you've got those for her to nest with. They were in my cabinet. Out of the way for now. Here, you put them on the back of your, on your iPad kit. Huh? I'm going to turn the lights love down a little bit. It's all over in content. Love it. I'm going to do one by one. Oh, this one was up to go a lot. Oh. It's kind of dim it is in here, but it looks so much brighter on the stream. There's the air conditioner kick on. Thank goodness. They take all of the garbage baby and put it in the house, okay? Oh. 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 In the middle. Oh, it's turned on. Right. We don't talk about the room now. Oh, hey, you're Crocs, Bella. 
They were in the right. Mm, no, they're right here. Under the bed. They were under the bed. I took them downstairs. Oh, did you know? Yeah, I did know. Dad. 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 I found this sticker toy. <laughs> it does. It looks like the toy. Where's the find the butterfly? Find the butterfly and the hamburger. Love you. Dad, we have to find the butterfly. I don't know where the butterfly is. And also the headband. And also the hamburger. Oh, Bella said that she wants to learn how to ride her bicycle. Ooh. Yeah, because I'm not a baby anymore. That's right, you aren't a baby anymore. But it, um, just so you can. Even if you need your um your training wheels, it doesn't hold a baby, okay? Okay. I just want to write my bike right now. Oh, hold on, hold on, baby girl. Let's see here. Um, did you get some clothes on my door? I did. How? Because I'm crazy, crazy like that. Or I'm gonna get clothes first. Already? Mm hmm Already. But and you also need to wear. When I was sleeping, did you get them for me? Mm -hmm. When I when was my time. No, no, not while you're sleeping, you sleep. You just said I did it while you were on the bed, hanging out. You knew me to be gay. Man, it's gonna be awesome. Can we do science today? Can we do science Saturday? Peter? We're getting for science again, Dad. Dad, we're getting for science. Dad, we're missing science every day. Oh no, that's okay. Not a big deal. Can we get the stars today? Maybe, baby. Wait, hon, you gotta take your shirt off, Chris. Hold on. Put that on over your pajamas. Wait, yeah. come back. Hey, no, come back here. I'm hey. taking it off by Scott, myself. Scott jumping on the bed, though. Come on. How was your guys' little night last night camping? She was so sweet because. When she was ready to go to sleep, she just put flipped her iPad over and her, she grabbed my arm. Oh. And her um, Vienna was like right between us. Mm. And so she had Vienna tucked up around my arm, and so I settled her, and I sang Sunshine, and then we did Rock of Eye, which is oh. the Vienna version, and then we did Bella with Vienna version. Oh, okay. that was so fun. So I had to come up here. And I'll be here one time. I woke up, and Bella was clutched on her. Her uh -huh. because eyes were wide open and she was just sitting very still and she was just watching me and she, her eyes were wide open and she didn't move the muscle. She was yeah, um, still. Um, she was like sleeping like this. And then when I came back in, I was 
She's gonna like I'll, I'll still flicking with like I'll still flicking like this with Vienna. Oh, 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 Like how well trained is she? That's crazy. Wide awake. Or she's six six months. Six months. Six months. Six months old now. So yeah, how crazy is that for a six month old dog to just hang out like that? I know. I was so impressed. She's done. I mean, we've been doing what? How many times now? She's gotten that range. But I just kind of wish it was a little bit. Mm-hmm. But we can get, get stairs that are tall enough mm-hmm. that would um, make her, I mean, not quite that tall, but you can get stairs that come up higher that are like come up a bit like knee high. Right. And so we could get those kind of stairs and bump them up close enough so that at least maybe, you know, and so she's got, right. you know, she can still use the stairs. Yes, ma'am. Hold on here, let me uh, get some water. Can you put these up? Yeah, put them up there again. What's that? Put them up there again. No, I'm not gonna put them up there. Yeah. See, so that I did. I did. What cat? What cat? Now. What cat? What cat? I did. And then there. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready now? Well, actually, you know what? I'm going Bella, you have to make sure that your toes are protected from the petals. As I walk out into the hall, I try to flip <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. That's what I need. I need like, like stuff that's good to wear. And I'm not going to trip my break my ankle. Hey there, Beth. Um, the other dogs in the waiting room, they're actually doing okay right now. Um, you guys will probably be able, once things start cranking up a couple notches, you guys will probably be able to hear them because uh, as they, they kind of learned, you know, what's up, what's going on. And so, you know, they know what the different 
it usually means. And I know that we have really changed our routine the last couple of days. Um, and um, so they, they do get pretty antsy, especially the moms. Uh, Missy, we usually see her being the first to want to come check things out. Um, and depending on the mom, sometimes we'll bring her in, sometimes we won't. Um, Pum Pum, we probably will. Pum Pum, um, with her first little litter, she really, really enjoyed having um, her buddies come in when she was in labor. Um, the more dominant moms don't usually really like that. They like to just be with me and Drew. Um, it's kind of like a, it's a very old, like a, an old way of thinking. We would actually have to observe to uh, relate it to humans anyway. But um, like Missy, Robin, Daisy, they, they don't like any of the other dogs coming in. Um, and I think it's a dominance thing. They just, they're, they're protective of their puppies and are more submissive dogs. Um, seem to kind of like the company. Um, they do get to a point though, where um, it's kind of like when they're in labor and when they're tired, they enjoy the company. But once they rest up a little bit, when the puppies are a couple of days old, then they start to not like the company as much. Um, but Missy, I think, likes to almost kind of come do like an inventory and make sure everybody is healthy and make sure that um, everything is the way it should be. Make sure she doesn't need to intervene with anything. Um, I think she, you know, as like the pack leader, she just gets anxious knowing that there's, you know, a big, big thing going on. And she isn't privy to just to know that everything is kosher and everything's okay. Um, and so that, that kind of explains Missy's behavior. The other dogs, I think they kind of want to just inspect and they're excited for puppies and they're excited to, you know, just at all the commotion. And um, it's really never a dull moment. This is where the heating pad is. It's like just warm enough to feel like somebody just got up from sitting there.
Mom jumped out to come and nest in a pile of um, towels that we pulled out of the laundry, out of the dirty, or out of the dry washer, or the, the dryer that need to be folded. And I have them here waiting to swap out with her other towels. Now she's going to nest in them.
Sweetie pie. Hi, baby.
I got and you can pick what you want to give them
You can take Paris in the bath with you, or I mean, not in the bath, but in the bathroom. Just like when you shower. Here, yeah, he's in here. Are you eating Palm's food? <laughs> I hear you snortling. Palm or Pierce, you need to be on a diet anyway. I'm sorry, you got spayed. That's just the way it is. But Pom Pom Look loves your well support. It picks up her food. I know. I was looking at pictures of her from when she first had her puppies, and when she had her puppies, her fur was, like, completely straight. Yeah. It was, it's, like, crazy to see how she, I think it is, I think it's how you snuggle her all the time. Really? I think it's because you just hold her that much, and so it <laughs> moves her fur. On. Bella wanted me to test her headphones, so she wanted me to put them on. Oh. Oh, they're downstairs. Oh. Kind of hurts my head. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I've been craving chocolate so much. Yeah. Because I haven't it had a in a while. Huh? It's a bigger orange. Cool. Yeah, her like smaller one and bigger one. You want to come with me, Paris? Thank you, Mom. You're welcome. Well, I got him tame with a bag to put it in. Oh, good. Oh, I thought that was good. Love you,
I'm wrapping Drew's Father's Day gifts. Um, I ordered them all from Amazon kind of last minute. Um, but since we have palm and labor, I don't want to leave and uh, run to the store to get like bags to wrap them in and all we have are Christmas bags. So I just picked as many bags as I could find that like only had snowflakes and ornaments and didn't say Merry Christmas. So Drew's getting his Father's Day stuff in. Christmas gift wrap. Pom Pom, where are you going, sweetie pie?
There we go, girl.
Okay, mom. Now we. I need the markers. I need the like paint markers. I need the paint markers. Put all the favorite things. No, go and get the other thing. Yeah. Hey, mom. What is it? You can open it up. You just need. Yeah. I need this paint marker. Well, I've mean, got regular marker.
That's a good idea. I don't know. Where can I hide it? Where, where can I hide it from that? Well, it's got nothing on it, so you don't need to hide it right now. Because we're just fellow, we're just gonna go and get him instead of making him one. We're just gonna go get him. So Father's Day hurts. Mom, do you remember we had this card like where they were big? And kisses. Hug and kiss, hug and kiss. I'll put this out of bed. I'm going to make the pond come in. How? I gotta grab my phone. My stuff. Where's the huh? mom? Where'd she go? Oh, mom. That has her phone number. Dad has her. Dad, are you bringing her? Are you bringing her back in here? Mom. Mom is on her way back. Mom, come on. Come on, mom. Come on, baby. Can I wear a skirt? No, you're wearing shorts. You're good. Well, I you look. Push them out. Come on, come on, come on. I can push them out. No, don't, don't worry. Because there's, hey, look. Yeah, there's nothing in be between your legs and this skirt. And so if you. She could oh, just wear it over her shorts. You want to wear it I over your shorts? Put it over your shorts. Yeah. yeah. I want to go to TikTok. No, that is really stinking cute, Bella. You are so cute. Can yeah. I switch them out? Uh, just leave it on like that. Because that way, if you fall over, people can't see your underwear. Or if you bend over. Yeah. Right? We're looking at something on a shelf. You bend over. Yeah. You're wearing. 
No, you're looking. Is this what happened to my dogs? No, I can't because you have these these shorts on. But if you didn't have the shorts on, then I could see your underwear. Yeah, so that's why we did that. Hey. You're what? Uh -oh. Come on, baby. Lay down, sweetie. Lay down. Lay down, Pumpkin. Where do you? We're going to carry your gifts and to Oh, okay. I'll close my eyes. I will avert my eyes. That was so funny. I just have you can see it. Okay. Okay, baby. It's okay. Just awaiting, just awaiting. Playing the puppy waiting game. Stay right there. Yes. Bye, oh, I love you, baby. Yeah. Uh, you're right. You beat me. What's that? She beaches me here. You beat you? Oh, you know. She beat, she beat you here. Oh, you said stay beaches. Time. I know. She says, stay I beat you. Oh, I beat you. Oh. That's what I'm saying. You beat me. <laughs> beat me. Beat you. <laughs> beat you. Hey, right. Pom, you look so sad. That's right, you look sad. Just looks like she's got the... the she has the fix-it look on her face. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. We're gonna be back. In her eyes. Oh, you feel better, right? Please, I'll be here. Okay. All right, Bella, let's go on so we can return. Love you. Love you too. Have fun with the Bella Schnella. Have fun. Bye, 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 bye. Yeah, go, baby, go. After you guys go, I'm out of the dogs out. Come on, Pom Pom. Come on, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Yeah, that girl reminds me.
Okay, we go. Eight. Sorry, Paul. Does she not want to hang out in the pool? She does not want to hang out in the pool, so I was trying to figure out if there's something I could do to. You can always move her. Yeah. Love you. I love you too. Love you okay. Thank you. Uh, where'd your uh, circle bottle go? Oh. Oh man, it really looks like her belly has dropped even more just I know. since we looked at it last. Love you. Love you too. Why'd you jump the fence?
Come here. Come on, Pum Pum. Alright, folks, hold on. I guess we can go for another ride. Lay down, baby. Lay down. Lay down. Yeah, baby. Spinch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right there. Come on, baby. Right there. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. No. Oh, 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 so needy.
Oh, yeah. Wait, for what? Go get some stuff. Yeah, that's right. There is. Come on. I'm here. She's right here with me.
Oh, the ball when I saw it, the ball was pretty good. Yeah, one more than I thought you were just going to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty hard. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, and to tell her she was going to have to put the other one back. And as we're bringing up, I realized. Only two dollars and fifty cents, and saw this number that she could find it. Mm. Mm. It's a different type of ball. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 I had a little backing that she really wanted. And she didn't go to the girl's side. She was super excited for that. <laughs> she fit into the girl's size. And was in the baby size. Yeah, so. And she's like, look, mom, it's a dollar. Yeah, that's what she was doing with me when I went there, too, where everything. She was like, it's only a dollar. Hmm. So I was really proud of her for the balls. making the choice of getting up the Lego thing. Right. It was just really important. Right. You know, like similar one, same size, non licensed. Um, right. yeah. But um, it was just one of those things where we put together and put it together, but then the arm will pop off and like it doesn't have any. And then she'll lose pieces. Yeah, she'll get frustrated. Right, and so it kind of hard with her because the balls she play with in the summer with like her brother and sister. And um, the Elsa is, can get lost easily. And, and yeah, and the three fights. You know, and at first, I grabbed um, Mike by the tail and just kind of like slid him back and run the garage floor. Yeah. And then Macchiato went after him. I think you're right. I think Macchiato became the aggressor. Mark has never been the aggressor. And so, and I had, um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to get Macchiato. Yeah. Yeah. And so then I had to run to the garage floor. Yeah. 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 Right. When he's trying to fight back, and so I was getting frustrated. I was, with him. Like, I was sitting here with Pom Pom, and I was like checking up on your location. And I was going to go out and like call everybody in before you got here. And then I knew you guys were going to that I heard you for the dog. Well, you can call me right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
，然后啊，那个，没量子推，没量，没量子推，没量。
Look up.
Okay. Uncomfortable, a little uncomfortable. Mean, but, but I'm sure it's not that. Bad. Um, am I still not allowed to run for the next two weeks? Yeah, that's wrong. Why? Even if it like even if the pain completely goes away? Um, for the next two weeks, it's still healing. We you bust them out? Yeah. Uh, so the the balls. Smells like a pool. Oh, yeah. I love this wrap, though. It's so, so fun. Wow. I'm gonna take it off. When should I, when should I take it off and keep it off? Um, I mean, I would take it off, like, when you go to bed. Well, no, like, what's, like, when, uh, when should I, uh, From Beatrix's titties. 
Yes, who's a good girl? You're a good girl, Beatrix. You're a good girl. Who's a good girl? You're a good girl. Okay. Okay, well, okay. I know. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. I know, it's a little tight. It feels tight. It's a little squeeze. Good girl. Good girl. Tight. You're a good girl. You are such a good girl. Good girl. You're such a good girl, Beatrix. I know. Don't worry, your hind ones are always so much easier to do. Always so much easier. Yeah. Their hind nails never, they don't naturally file when they're running. And so they're usually, lengthwise, they're usually a lot easier to clip. It's usually a lot clearer between the nail and the quick. <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> Good girl. You are such a little circus dog. We've got one more nail out of all of these nails. We've only got one left. <laughs> about to have a whole other round of you guys. It's still nice having you here. Bridge the gap. Yeah. It's been so nice having you here. Your mom is going to love you so much. Yeah. My nail trims are good. It's nice, clean, and healthy. I keep you from picking up icky bugs. I'm in the house. I'm such a good girl. I'm gonna eat my shirt now. <laughs> you want to check out Pom Pom's pool? This is where you were born not too long ago. Good girl. Tom is outside right now, Just having a bathroom break. She knows what those doors mean. She knows those doors that those this that particular squeak means that outside play and outside fun is happening. Hi sweetie, how are your new flip flops? Did you show dad? Hey, if they start hurting you between your toes, you might need to take a break from them, okay? Mom like Careful.
Those are the kind of balls that you um, I try to win at I don't even find new flip flops dirty. Well, that's what they're kind of supposed to do. It's normal for them to get dirty. Yeah, it's normal for them to get dirty. That's okay. Hello. Her belly looks lower than like this morning. Right. Nothing. What was it supposed to do? <laughs> I touched Beatrix's nails and she didn't make nearly as big a fuss about it as she did last time. Really? Yeah, she just hung out and then she snuggled me. Like, Oh, what a good girl, Beatrix. Oh, Beatrix is <laughs> she's like, I remember this. Oh, and Bella, mommy showed me this. I'm gonna earn that, remember? Oh, oh, she's gonna earn. Oh, yeah, I remember we gotta earn. Oh, oh whoa! Oh, I didn't know that. That's like an Elsa ball. It is like an Elsa ball. It lights up, Bella. Whoa. Remember when? We, remember when when we had those? Oh, we did have something similar, huh? Yeah, and and then and it glowed up, and then we lost the glowing thing. Huh? Puppies are so active. I can't wait to see them. I want to know what they look like. Hopefully, it's like pom pom. Yeah, I think they'll look like pom pom and then they'll look like macchiato. And also, one looks like a puppo. That one looks like Daisy. Yeah, that one looks like Daisy. You are such a good girl. I want to keep my flip flops on. Mom, mm -hmm. when we go to the beach, can I wear my flip flops? Sure, when are we going to the beach? I know, she is <laughs> all about going to the beach with her flip flops on. Beach! Beach! Oh, God. Oh, it's just quiet in here, huh? Can I see the ball? You want me to go outside? I think Bradley really wanted the one that Carter grabbed. He was very gracious. Oh, where's the light up? He's like, Carter, do you want, you sure you want this one? Did you remember we had this? Off, like, like, they had a light up. Um, I don't. This one's a light up. What's up, baby? You gotta go like this. Okay, Beatrix. Uh, okay, good. Okay, listen. You got that. You wanna go outside? Earned. No, I'm gonna stay in here for just a little bit. We're gonna all. Uh... Whoa! These are good. These are good at soccer, Dad. You oh. can play anything. Oh yeah? Not in here. Good girl. Okay. Hey, you can take that downstairs to the basement or outside, sweetums. I don't know where to take it. Either inside, downstairs to the basement, or outside. I'm going to be out going outside. I'm going to be going outside. Dad. Maybe I'll run outside. Uh, aren't, aren't, uh, I guess May and Bradley and Carter are inside now, aren't they? Yeah, they're inside. This is kind of like mom's ball. Or be mom's on it. Hey, don't, yeah, don't do that though, baby girl. We don't want it. I don't want it to pop, baby. It's not meant to do that. Those balls aren't meant to do that. Dad, if your ball runs into the street, you can get popped by a car. Well, if it runs into the street, you let it go in the street. You don't go running after it, okay? The ball rolls into the street, you let it roll into the street, and make sure there's no cars before you go get it. I probably was doing that. No, we don't run into the street after a ball. Never, ever, ever. Uh, this is kind of like squishmallows. It is kind of like squishmallows. Yeah. Like you roll on it, like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dad, uh, uh, there was a, a diaper challenge, and if it's a boy or a girl, it's, it's having a baby. If it's black, the baby's sick. Oh, okay. Shark. It's, Look, it's shark pom pom. Shark, 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 shark pom pom. <laughs> Yeah. I'm on the beach, like, I don't want to be a dog. I'll be a human dog. I'll be a dog. I'll be a dog. Oh. 
Check it out. It's shark pom pom. I was just doing this shark pom pom. Yep. Pom pom sad. Pom pom sad? Yeah. Yeah. Is pom pom sad? Not sad. It's just. She's just a little overwhelmed. That's why she needs it quiet. What? Mom, you have to use the one. Mom, can you have a side with me? I don't want to really have to. Um, do you want to do this? Mom, I have to do a little Mom, I need this game. You need this game? Yeah. One drop, pass One drop, one drop, Listen, always be sure you put the cap back on the marker, okay? The last one. Always make sure you put the cap back on. Back, back there, so you don't lose it. Mom, do you remember we had landed? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mom. You can't stick together. I don't think they will because they. But they can stick on the back. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Don't do that. Wait, where'd Mom go? There she oh, is. is. I'll take a baby. Nice, baby. I can use this for my class. Pink can play teacher with Brownie. And 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 more time. Matrix looks like Mom have her pillow. My mom have her pool bag. Mom, here Dave, me and Brian, me and Brian were playing teacher, and then the girl Mom. Her name was.
Um, we'll be back soon. She's just kind of, um, she's in the living room right now. She is kind of just following us around. She, she's so sweet. She's, um, becoming needier and, uh, um, what's the word? Clingier. She's getting really clingy. Drew and I were standing up talking to the kids and Bradley was sitting down and so she was going over to Bradley's lab and she never goes to the kids. She's definitely an adult's dog.
I know, sweetie pie. It's a lot of work. I'm such a good girl. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. You're so nice, sweetie. What's on that one? Love you, mom. Love you, Bob. How are you doing, sweetie? Got some muscular hind legs, my girl. Do towels. Okay. Take a look at you. Come here, sweetie. Dang, her belly is looking so low to the ground. Come on, sweetie. I'm just gonna wake you up. Hey, baby. Is that cozy? She's like kind of supporting her belly at my leg. You okay? Get my coat back in here. Hang on, where it's warm. What's up, sweetie? You want to lay down? Yeah, no girl, sweetie.
such a Foot. Get cozy, sweetie. Okay. Ella, shh. These are kicking like crazy. You can see it if you look closely. Oh. Bella, you need to quiet down, sweetie. Um, I just want to tell you guys. Like more do. And I just want to tell you. Mom showed me your your about your book about uh Patrick. And Bob and Patrick. What does he say? Yeah. What does he say? Uh oh, yes. I under the store. I come from a long line of starfish. Mm -hmm. There you go. I know how much you love your blankies. I don't know uh, what we're in line for, but I can't blankies. wait to find out. That's him. They put a different hat on. And, he, and he's mm -hmm. matching. Oh, yeah. oh, what does it? Bella, Bella. Come on, Mom. Yes, so. Do you go on the SpongeBob book? What? Do you go on the SpongeBob and Patrick book? Um, you might be able to. You can try it with that special marker. I have to find the see same. See if you can draw and then erase. I have to find the right package. You want some water, Speedy? Oh, work! I can draw on there. Oh, I can draw on That's fair. So, Dad! Oh, gosh. I found the right pack.
Everyone's in the line. And To be up here. I don't know why. To be up here. Am I being me?
What's up, baby? Oh, I made my stick and then I throw it and it hit me. Hello, oh, Blue. Come here, baby. Oh, come here. Come here. Let's take off. It doesn't look that bad, baby. Come on, sweetie. I didn't take my crocs Oh, baby. Did you squeeze it all my blood? Well, it's not all your blood. Do you know how much blood you have in you? You have eight bottles of blood. Oh. Oh. I don't know what we're in line for, but I can't wait to find out. This is my neighborhood. My neighbor Squidward lives in the Easter Island head. Ta-da! My best friend SpongeBob lives in the Pineapple. How did I get surrounded by such losers? Patrick lives in the rock. And I live under the rock. It's not much, but it's where I hang up the phone. Isn't Squidward living? SpongeBob and I are joined at the hip. We do everything together, just like our favorite superheroes, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. We eat together, we dance together, we laugh together, we climb ropes, we play music, we want to run around in circles until we fall down dizzy. But the best part about having Great friend is he always shares his camp. Boy, all that talking about doing things made me sick. I'd better go do what I do best. Take a nap. And sent. This is for Friday. Oh, well then save it. Don't tell show it to me. Show it to me tomorrow. Surprise. Ah, <laughs> ah, baby. You want me to go get some stuff about it? Right? The laundry cream. We gotta put some cream on it. We gotta clean it and then put some cream on it and we'll put a bandaid on it. <laughs> What's that? We gotta clean it. Maybe if you got hit with a stick, the stick is uh, Yeah, it is. Yeah. 
啱唔啱？好，啱唔啱？
Where did I go, bro? How's it feel? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> hold on. Hold on. No. Don't touch my Bella. building! Then it's coming off. No, it's not. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Right. Right a little bit, baby. How tall is it? Yeah. Stay back, stay back. Okay, I'm not, maybe I'm not touching it. Ah! I have to drive around it. Don't touch, Bella, don't touch it. Ah! Oh, no, Bella, Bella. Ah!
Oh, very nice, baby. Hold on, Bilbo. Hey guys, we're like, I'm sorry, we're, we're all here, um, we've got Pom Pom up in bed with us, she's just relaxing, and we're just, uh, we're just waiting to see if anything moves along, she's very, uh, happy and content, uh, laying next to, to me and Bella up there right now, so. Uh, no, uh, no real big updates just yet. I'm sorry. I know that's kind of a boring screen right now, but hopefully, uh, hopefully things will move along soon. Maybe, um, I don't know. I don't know. We've, uh, we haven't had a dog go this long since having that, uh, uh, having her temperature drop. Yeah. Uh, sees she is a, a bit, uh, a bit restless. She's all very restless last night, but right now she's just hanging out with. Oh, very nice, Bella. Do you know it? It looks like a turkey. Turkey. Yeah, turkey. Turkey lurkey. You know what is? That looks like a turkey, and that looks like a mitten. That's that the like rope. A... The rope. Yes. You step on some water. Oh, I'm not Riley, don't do it.
Do you know what it is? I see your dots. It's got those. Dad, do you know what it is called? Dad. What's it called? Got those. Oh. She's too far back. Yeah, she's a little too far back. I keep trying to get her to go over to the it's like up there, but okay. Oh I'll uh um, out and do it. <laughs> drawing on her dry erase board. Yes. He loves it. That was the size of it. Just bigger than a drawing. Uh -huh. Ooh, that is going to go right after some more. Can we have some more dry erase markers somewhere? Please. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's it, I believe. Mommy, 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 you scoot your two feet this way. Come here, Mommy, Mommy. Mm -hmm. Actually. Oh, you know what? You could um, bring it up, but you could put it on the. the Oh, you do those puppies kicking. Puppies are kicking like crazy, and she's so. And it's like. Invisible. Once she's got a few puppies out, we should be able to bring the rest of her up. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Are you gonna take that downstairs? Wish. Oh, I'm not too. All right. Well. No. What's up, baby? 
I don't want you to leave. No, I don't want you to leave. Well, I gotta start making dinner, big girl. Mom, make dinner. <laughs> you wanna stay with her then? Uh That you were with. Yeah, I made
Valley. Now I have my own new board. You have a new board. Yeah, my other one was old and broken. I can't use it.
Flower. Oh, it's a, such a pretty flower, Bella. Mom, look, that's a sun.
Draw what? They got that. Oh, color it in. If you hold it, if you hold this at a certain angle, hold this at a certain angle, it, it's oh, way, cool. it's wavy. Watch. They don't wave. No, I know, I know. Wait. Dang it. I love you. Let me see. Oh. I can't find them. Where did they go? <laughs> love you. Love you.
Do you know who I'm watching? What are you watching? Alex? No, I missed it. I don't know it either. Why do you want me to? Yeah, because he's supposed to like raise the alphabet and draw the and draw the like ABC from three to one hundred. Oh jeez. How uh, you write the numbers to one hundred? Um, it's gonna take for me.
Mom, you, you can draw the numbers and I'll, I'll draw one. Okay. Mom, can you draw the Mom. 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 You can do the numbers. It's your turn to draw.
And Bella be gentle with her. I give her baby to the Ella. Ella. my boo-boo all time. No. Bella, no balls by Tom. Ella, put your head down. Annabella. Okay, put your head down. Fall down.
Hello. Bella, sit down. No, 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 not like that. I'm gonna take the ball off the bed. Oh, you have to help mommy. You're okay. <laughs> Bella, not when we're coming home is okay. Hi. What do you want to do tomorrow? Is it their time? Mom, is it their time? Oh, yeah, sure. It is always. I can bounce. No, I build a friendly. What's Carter and Brian make? Yeah. Annabella. Bella, that's enough. Because Tom is having puppies and quiet and calm. Annabella, Annabella, mm. you're playing too rough with the ball on your own. That problem. Too big a ball to be throwing around our bedroom. Bella. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> Ellie, you can play with it outside the bedroom, not work hard on it. Mom. What? Mom, you go. That's what. Take it to the kitchen. Your dad will let you into the kitchen. Yeah, I only need stuff on my feet. What is inside of here? Do you know what's inside of here? It's here. Do you want to get out? Open it. Do you want to open it four days and if it gets old, the rivers can open it? That's what's inside. Annabella, that's enough. Annabella. Do you see me? Yes, I can see you. Oh. Did you see me, Mom? Mom. Mom. Bella. Do you see me? I want you to follow instructions. Why, Mom? I'm making footsteps. So, you follow this wherever you go. Girl, I am. I just realized all the wishes have your present. I didn't want to do all the. I didn't want to line. Part two is. I didn't want to I'm making them out of my series. I need the footsteps.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, go show you this. There we go.
What the fuck? Yeah. Your clothes? Yeah. Pajamas?
Where is Ron Pom? Where did Tommy go? Read that birdie
Hey, honey, what do you mean? What are you mean? Oh yeah. Here's a pom pom. Can we find normal Starbucks kids? Still no, uh, still no changes. Um, she has been excreting some of her, uh, or some more of her mucus plug. We, I mean, I think that's what it is uh, out of her. Uh, out of the birth canal, so it's just like things are moving very, very slowly. Uh, she is very, very, uh, I don't want to say miserable, but she is just uncomfortable. There we go. Um, she's very uncomfortable. Uh, every time you look at her, she'll look at you with uh, the eyes of, please make it stop. Um, or just like she'll look at you and you can tell that she's like, make it better, please. I know. Wait, who's this? Daisy Doodle? It's the Daisy Doodle. Daisy Doodle. Daisy. Doodle. Her food. You don't get to her food. Good okay. oh, girl, Daisy. No, that's not your food, Daisy. Guys, we. Oh, Pop's my little cat dog. <laughs> yes, she is your kitty cat dog. Yeah, you got the you got the Daisy Doodle kitty cat. Yeah, He's gonna be with that bald cat priest soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Egyptian cat or whatever it is. Yeah, the um... I wish her shit would pull fur. I don't want you to be stressed out. You're so pretty. <laughs> you two are so cute. Oh. They have like the same shape. Heads Head. and faces. I, I was just thinking the same thing. You guys could pass as related. They really could. mom has got similar bug eyes, just not as buggy. Her wonky blaze is so pretty now. I know. I used to think it was weird, but now I just, I don't know, it's just it's like, it's like abstract art. It is, yeah. <laughs> And then, like, how the white has gotten really long, like, you get those, mm -hmm. those tail feathers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, her. Yeah, the daisy thing. usually has until she shed all of her fur. Let's see the not in uh, Kathy's painting. <laughs> you remember? It's just yeah. got a little, little white tuft. <laughs> this is my place. This is where I belong. Dad. Bella. It's your good place. You want me to come over there? Did you yeah. give Bella these watermelon? Yeah, those are the ones that she had wanted like before we even got there. Oh, really? Like, those are the ones she wanted. She, like right as soon as we got there, she asked if Dad. we could go find the watermelon this side sour is candies. Green and green, but this side is naked. It's naked. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're all the same. Oh, Speaking of naked, we need to get you dressed and, and uh, we need to wash those those hands there, sweetheart. Dad, how much calorie is we eat two? How many calories if you eat two? Uh -huh. well, let's see here. Uh, seven is 120. So that means there's about Per piece. What happens if we eat two? Two, that's about uh, 40 calories, a little less than 40 calories. 
what happens if we eat one? Oh yeah, that's one half. It'll be like it'll be like hundred like, calories. It's, no, it's eighteen calories. Oh yeah. Oh my. Uh, 17. 17 calories. Every, every, every one piece is 17 calories, kiddo. Ah. How many pieces have you had? Uh, how many pieces of candy have you had? Do you know? I don't know. You don't know? I had one, then three. Oh. I had one. One and three. But then, then one and one and one and one. One, one and one. Seven, so that's 120 calories. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven, and that's 120 calories. There's five, five. on this side. There's one, two, three, four, five, Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh! If I were five and then two, right. I must do it seven. That's right. Huh? Ah. Okay, then two mm -hmm. plus two, you take a two off. That's. What? If you take. One, two, plus two, if you take a two off, mm -hmm. that's two. Oh, okay. Four. Take one off. Six. Eight. Then two. Two. If you take one off. Two. If you put an eight off of it, another eight, that makes one eight. <laughs> Oh, Bill Shaw, it's time to put on the rest of your jammies, though, sweetie pie. Now, 7.30, time to... If we take another one off, give one. Okay, no oh. more. No, <gasps> no, hey, no more now. You had your... No, hey, you had your ice cream, and you put it away. So now we're done. Oh. So now, let's put on the other rest of your jammy jams. Little missingness. No. Yes. Um, yes. I'm going to get this. <laughs> what the heck? What is this? What in the world? You know what? I'm going to just get a plastic baggie for these, baby. Pimpon Pon. Right there, Pimpon. Hands up. Put the uh, pen down. Uh oh. My headphones are Uh oh. Can't be done. Can't be done. Back. 
And you're right all the way to 100. Um, yeah, I can. But I'm not going to right now. Why? Because it's time for you to go down the road. It's time for you to stop the nighttime routine of relaxing. In the basement. Oh, come on. To the right, all the way to one hundred. Um, yes. Probably not. Oh, I already wrote the alphabet for you three times, twice in uppercase, once in lowercase. Oh my god! <laughs> oh boy! I'm gonna write it in cursive, but then you tell us. Nice. Yes, from that, right? you are very kind for doing that for our daughter. Oh, you, know you were like you angled that very smartly. Very, uh, I don't know how you got that okay. angle. That's crazy. Hey, Tommy. Don't have puppies during the night, okay? Let's wait till morning. Let's wait till morning to have puppies. How's that Oh, 
You're a good girl. upside down say Upside down six. Mom, there's magnets on the back. Mom. Mom. Are you going to sit down there? No.
one sticker to a one sticker to a flipping board.
Annabella. No. Mom has been telling you not to do that. Hush. Oh, what's up? Uh, you already had candy. I'm having my best time No. You need to lose that attitude, Annabelle Rose. Stand up here.
Non. Et l'herbe est mieux. Et l'herbe. Que cosy, que cosy comme fille. Hey,
Yes. What? Uh, Carter got it. On what? Uh, he Never mind, Dad. It was just bleeding a lot. Fine now. It's fine now. When the joint. Where is your. So, how is your. How's my friend stick? I hope you didn't feel bad. All right, right listen. Uh, tonight, you guys need to come in from outside at 845. Okay. Okay. What time is it now? 20. Yeah. Oh, it's almost 20. Okay, sounds good. Okay. It was bleeding a lot more than I thought it would.
that. Helps me. No.
No.